Hello everyone, I'm here today to talk about the Malden Bulldozer. I, uh, and for those of you that saw my Mar Malden Karma review, you'll know that these are currently Korean made guitars, uh, designed, in designed in the USA, manufactured in Korea. Uh, they're currently switching over their production to in-house American production and they're having a clearance sale on all their Korean stock. So um, basically all their guitars right now are being blown out for two to $220. And let me tell you, it's a bargain. Um, this is, uh, this, as for the bulldozer itself, uh, it's loosely modeled off of a Gibson SG. Um, you've got a pronounced asymmetrical double cutaway, solid mahogany body with mahogany neck and a rosewood fingerboard. Uh, two humbuckers uh, with a coil tap on the tone pot, uh, simplified master volume, master tone, three-way switch control layout. The output jack has been moved to the back of the guitar um, as opposed to on the top. Uh, string through body and a tunematic bridge. Uh, nicely bound fretboard and headstock. Uh, the actual the uh, setup on this guitar was great right out of the box. Um, pretty much all I've done is tune it up. Uh, everything the neck feels great, plays great. It's got the same neck profile as the Karma, which is a pretty thin profile, and I normally don't like thin necks. But I something about you know between the the shape and the fretboard radius, I don't know. Everything works together really nicely, and it makes for one really great playing guitar. Um, it is a little bit neck heavy. Uh, not as neck heavy as a couple of the SGs I've picked up in the past. Uh, it's part of that, you know, I think the, li the thinner neck profile helps because um, it's a lot, you know, reduces some of the weight in the neck. Um, they've also repositioned the strap button to the end of the upper horn so that when you're on a using a strap, that also helps some with the balance. It's still a little neck, it's still a little bit neck heavy on, on a strap, but, but not much. It's definitely not, not a big deal. Um, but I just figured I should put that out there. Uh, the pickups themselves, fairly hot. The bridge pickup comes in at around 10K. Uh, the neck is about seven, uh, not seven, seven and a half to eight. So that's you know, not terribly hot there, but the bridge is definitely noticeably hotter. Um, with the coil tap, I said, well, I'll go ahead and do something. Obviously you're gonna get a, a drop in output. Um, that's pretty standard. You know, yeah, you're going to get a little bit of drop in output. It does kind of thin things out some, so it gets you a little bit more into those single coil tones, but not quite. Um, but it, you know, it does add. It definitely gives you. It just adds a lot, a lot of versatility. So you end up getting. You know, there's a lot of sounds you can get out of this guitar. Um, so right now we've got the coil tap on. We'll, we'll go ahead and stay on the bridge for a second, and we're using a. Uh, I'm using once again. I'm using my Line Six HD 500 for all the sounds um, and currently I'm on a Vox AC30 top boost setting I've got the drive set to about 50% um, and I was on the that opening riff was on the bridge pickup as well so you're already getting an idea that you know this guitar can definitely definitely it's definitely made for rock but here we go we got the coil tap on uh, let's, just so we can get a little bit of a just so you can see what the uh, difference is thing back in humbucker mode. So as you can see it definitely thickened things up quite a bit um, and, cr and I adds a little bit more crunch. So, so anyway let's just uh, we're gonna play around some more with some dirty sounds. Uh, we're still uh, we're still on the top boost setting. Um, <laughs>
slapped on the coil tap about halfway through and then popped it back off. Um, so we're going to switch on over now to a black face setting and, and play with some clean tones. We'll go ahead and stay in the neck pickup. And for now, um, I'm going to add in a little bit of delay. Anyway, um, that's really meant to be played with the whammy bar, obviously. All right, folks. That's the Malden Bulldozer for you. Once again, that's Malden Guitars, M-A-L-D-E-N dot com. Check them out.